Hey everybody, as you can tell, this is a full spread. Um, this is a full look at your perspective and your other person. I'm going to break down Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, current stuff, what's going on and what's coming in the future. So let's get right into it. I pulled some songs for you. So you have Lauren Hill's version of Can't Take My Eyes Off of You. Um, you guys are hooked on each other. A lot of sexual vibes, a lot of staring at each other online or in person. Bruno Mars, just the way you are. This is accepting each other for your bodies, for who you are, um, for all your hang-ups. It's like, no matter what, you only have eyes for each other. You're totally into each other. And I feel like you are pretty certain you have an idea. Oh, I'm shedding. <laughs> Sorry, of what's going to happen for you two with this chasing cars just the way you are. You have this vibe of, I know this is my one. Um, I think you're very protective of this connection. Um, like power couple vibes, wanting to build your own empire. You can do it all. You have everything you need in each other. And you just know that you two are going to be okay. Or at least it's a, a feeling in your gut. What you're seeing, or I'm sorry. Wrong cards. What you're not seeing about this connection, um, where you're currently at in it, we have star bathing and called. So you're being spiritually awakened, both of you, divine feminine and divine masculine, on your own individual journeys. And you're, you're starting to shine, or 2024 will be the year you shine in what you are meant to do here, your gift, your talent. It's about embracing that, um, or it has been about embracing that. And the truth about this connection that you don't see at all is that you both need to loosen your grip on your life and how it's going to flow. And you have all these plans um, for yourself, which is great. But when it comes to love, you really can't plan it. It's, it or it might fall in your lap in a weird, unique way. Hello, Gaia. But you have a double mission with this person. You have a career mission. You have a career purpose that, on this earth. But I think you're here to do that together. Um, your purpose mingles with this person's purpose. Um, power couple vibes. So let's talk about the Divine Feminine's energy right now. She's in Lilith, which is um, really powerhouse energy, embracing her empress, um, not needing anyone, a lot of independence, learning their attitude, this Divine Feminine and this connection is all about healing and loving themselves and loving their body and, and getting to know themselves again and, and putting focus on self, which is necessary in a spiritual journey. So the Divine Masculine's energy right now, um, ignore the lady, it doesn't, it just look at the energy. It's like they're, they're working on something, they're trying to manifest something, they're calling something. Um, this could be shining bright in your career space. But your attitude, Angel, is trying to step back into the divine, trying to maybe clean up your image or, or help the world in some way. So you're in very powerful, let's make shit happen energy, which I like. Let's talk about some personal stuff for you on your journey at this time, Divine Feminines. You are currently outgrowing a situation um, or you're, you're going to be taking off in your field and it's going to um, cause you to travel, maybe get promoted and move somewhere else. But you are ready for change. You're ready to grow. You're ready to expand and you're embracing it at this time. And Divine Masculine, some advice for you is to go with the flow. I think you are the planner here. You have a lot of plans. You have a lot of things that need to be done. And I think it stresses you out a lot, especially with this connection. You need to learn to go with the flow and trust divine timing and listen for the signs and do things on a whim instead of more planned. So let's talk about astrology for Divine Feminine right now. You are glowing with the sun spirit, a lot of happy vibes, or you're trying to raise your vibrations here. You, like I said, are outgrowing something. So there is endings and new beginnings for you. Um, moving on from things. It could be past, could be people, could be jobs, but you're growing and expanding. Divine Masculine, you have Uranus 
and yod. So I think you're being very stubborn about your career space, but it's like sticking to your guns energy. Like you have a calling, you're listening to it, you're a genius at what you do, and you know it's your destiny and you're pouring into it at this time. But I think you also feel this person would be a good collab. I don't know why I'm vibing that, but hey. All right, let's talk about some numerology with truths. Divine feminine. Yeah, you got self-love again. High vibes. Trying to raise your vibes. Coming out of a depressed, depressive, hard time. You're more bubbly, more happy. Oh my God, you got death again. I didn't read these. You could be literally um, grieving from a death. Like overcoming grief of some kind. Um, and you're on the end of it where you're, you're understanding and, and you're trying to put it away and move on. Not that you're putting the person away, but you're putting the situation away. Or you've gone through something really hard, a uh, job change, a relationship change. Maybe you're single now. It's a big change here. And it really knocked out, knocked you on your booty, but you're not grieving anymore. You're high vibed. You're happy. You're coming to the light, which is good. Divine Masculine, we have, ooh, wanting to make apology or this is pulling to me, coming in with a surprise, um, longing for this Divine Feminine, longing to make this happen, but I think you're getting a little bit of karma here or you're having some karmic issues. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminine in this time. We have the sword and the rose um, speaking some truth or they did speak the truth or they're just saying what they want, knowing what they want. They're trying to do the right thing. They're focusing on themselves, coming out of that hard time, that healing, um, facing difficult things like grief and pain. But like I said, they're high vibrational, so they, they've done, been doing the work. Yeah, they want stability. They're, they're trying to work on their finances. They're trying to work on their personal growth and their personal healing. They're self-absorbed right now, but not in like a narcissistic way. This is like, I need to do me so that I can heal. Um, and just focusing on their recovery, whether it's a loss of a person, loss of a job, loss of a relationship. But they're doing a really good job. Good job, Divine Feminines. Let's see what's going on with masculine. Oh, yeah. Unconditional love, a karmic relationship. And, yeah, Divine Masculine has uh, more than one person on their plate right now. They're still in a karmic relationship. They want a chance. They want this to be an option. And they're being triggered by you, Divine Feminine, to leave this karmic relationship. Or they're seeing the truth that they're in a karmic relationship. And this is a divine connection. But they are unconditionally loving the both of you. While, I think, trying to make a decision on who to stay. We'll get more. But this is where currently Divine Masculine is. Looking at the third party. Looking at you. Their heart is with you. Um... They might fear you have options, Divine Feminine. Let's get more. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Feminine right now. We have music and communication. 32, 33 shows progression. So maybe you're getting a lot of signs through music or you're working on music or you're being inspired by music to heal. You're communicating your feelings. This is about personal growth for you on target with the rest of this. Divine Masculine, we have, oh my God, love partnership and effort. You know you need to make an effort and which one is staying, which one's going and making a decision. You're in love with two people right now, Divine Masculines. I think you have a little bit of resentment here with this karmic partner. Uh, you could have heard some hard truths or there's just been a lot of difficulty and there's anger. Divine Feminine, don't get upset. I feel like you, this is what you're healing from. You could have left your karmic partner already and have already gone through this. But let's see. Um, current energy, what is going on with the Divine Feminine? Hanging out with friends, getting advice. Divine Masculine's taking a break. Maybe they're separated from their karmic. Divine Feminine's working on their career. Has love for you. Work, working towards that and just trying to grow and expand. Divine Masculine is trying to do the right thing with their karmic. But I think they want to come in and give this Divine Feminine a gift. Because they want to be their official person and they're realizing it in this time. Near future energy, I think your guys are going to be a powerful couple together and a happy one at that. You're going to be very defensive of this connection and you're speaking your truth and it's going to um, 
cause a lot of strife, especially with the karmics, but you're setting boundaries and you're moving forward quickly. Um, travel towards together, moving in together very quickly. Um, but it's going to be a relief that you're finally together. It's going to be a lot, but you're coming together soon, I feel. I hope you liked it.